Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video of Winter Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the new year. If you guys don't watch any of my other videos, if I haven't said it already, Happy New Year to everyone. And hopefully you guys have a great 2020. Hopefully you guys will do absolutely everything that you want to achieve in 2020. And um, hopefully this will all come true. But we're going to get into it today. We've got a few things to do. I want to get a few things done as well. First thing I want to do is I want to um, get some of these things happening. So in between videos oh that's gonna take ages okay I'm gonna leave that alone but um, we're gonna craft some well make some jerky over there and I'm gonna come over here and do some barbecuing which essentially I basically I think what it means is when I did some research is to cook up some um, some meat there so I'm hoping that's going to be the the way to do it but it told us to craft a barbecue so I don't know whether or not that's um like a bonfire or a simple fi uh, simple fire. I think that's what it probably means. But anyway, I need to craft up some food anyway. So I'm just going to make that happen. And um, basically what we're going to do today is we are going to get our very own dragon today. So something that I'm really, really, really excited for. Um, if you guys didn't see the previous video, please check out the previous video. I'll probably add it in somewhere in, throughout the video in terms of one of these little card thingy my bobs. But do check it out. Um, so hopefully this should be enough. Um, we are nearly there. I've got, I know I've got one more in the, uh, little storage pit I have over here. We're just going to grab that, that, and I want to grab one of those. And I think I need, um, some mithril shards, which we're going to grab as well. And we shall, uh, where are, there we are. Perfect. Boom. And I just need some blocks and we are good to go. What I need to do is I need to craft up this bad boy over here. And I think that's where our little dragon fella is going to stay put. So let's... Um, nearly there. 10 seconds to go. Um, here we go. And then we can start getting off onto a little adventure with the dragon. And see what the dragon has to offer as well. There we go. Um, so let's go ahead and open this up. And okay, so stone blocks, mithril, um, copper nail, and stone. Oh, and I need the crystal of fire. I nearly forgot that. So let's quickly grab, get out of that, grab all of what we need. Where is that crystal of fire? I think I've got them all over here. Thank you very much. And we should be able to um, dive right in and get this one happening. Now, if you notice a bit of stutter in within the game as well, guys, please excuse this. This is um, a laggy server that I'm in. I am still in server one. I'm hesitant to go to server two in fear of what happened previously with my other game that I lost everything and I wasn't able to get into server two. I don't know it's safe, if it's safe or not. I did sort of try that one time where... I actually went from one server to the other and it actually didn't happen and from that it just really didn't work out so I sort of stuck it out with server one but server one recently is getting um, quite a bit of lag over the last few days that I've noticed now I don't know whether or not that's due to the fact that the um, the game is starting to get a little bit more traction it's starting to get a little bit more popular that I'm not too sure of so um, I did um, comment something about that as well and I did reach out to the devs in regards to um, if they are going to you know provide more servers upgrade the existing ones that they've got that I'm not too sure about I haven't actually heard back from them so I have asked a question so hopefully that might help us out but like I said I know that some of you guys are on server 2 that haven't had an issue yet so um, with that being said um, I don't know whether it was just me. Like I said, I am hesitant to move it over to server two. It, they both ping the same that I can see, so I'm not too sure exactly what happens there. But like I said, I really don't want to do that in fear of losers and progress again, because I'm going to have to start all over again, which is probably not a the thing I want to do right now. So with that being said, let's get over to it and... Finally, we have our dragon. Let's go ahead and adopt him. There he is. Um, we can use it in the fire dragon house. You're not going to lose it when you get killed. It can only be stored in the backpack um, for now. So we have him. He's here. Um, so we can pop him over here, I believe. 
I don't know if he's already there. I don't know. He's not there. Okay. Um, he just grabbed some dragon scales. Fair enough. Um, so, I don't know. Do we... We can use him? So, he disappears. And there he is. Have a look at him. Oh, he's so cute. He's so small. So, okay. What have we got here? Now, there's, there's nothing in here. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Fire Dragon Crystal. Okay. It'd be transformed. That is pretty cool. Okay. Well, I do have some Fire Crystals, but... Um, I could always use it. And craft that in. Why not? Um, here's our little dragon. Okay, so we can interact with him now. Um, so, outdoor. If we take him out with us, um, he will uh, follow us and he can either get trained... Uh, can we modify? Ooh. Can I modify? Oh, okay. I can call him a dragon. Well, I'm going to call him something else soon. I don't know exactly what I'm going to call him just yet. Um, we can feed him as well. So I think if we get some little grubs and whatnot, he can um, be fed and uh, we can see him grow, I guess, eventually. So let's get him some grubs. And I think he feeds off uh, these things as well. So, but for now, I've got these little grubs. I think he'll do okay with these for now. And let's see if he likes what we've got to offer him. Um, it can only be adjusted after Dragon goes outside. Oh, okay. So if we go outdoor. Okay. Oh, there, we, there you go. And I don't know if that's doing anything. Hmm. Well, there he is. Hey, look at him. Oh, look. He's running around. He's following us. I don't know whether or not he's going to do anything for us or anything, but let's see. We can click onto that real quick on the side there. So there's a, there's like a little dragon icon where your um uh where your um uh, manual uh what do you call it? Your little manual quest that you've got going on there. So you can um, activate him from there. I don't know whether or not you can actually... Um, where is he? Where did he go? Can you click him from here? Okay, so you can't click him while you're just... When you're trying to click near your player. So that doesn't happen. So that's fine. So basically, let's head out into a zone and see if there's... Um, well, any impact that he can do. Whether he sort of basically... Um, uh, feeds off his, the experience that you defeat enemies as well. I don't know if, whether he participates in an attack as well at the same time. That I am unsure of, but let's see if we can find out just that. Uh, so let's get out of this way here. Let's see if we can attack. Uh, oh, look, he attacks. Did you see the little fireball? He actually did a little fireball. That is so cool. That is awesome. So he helps you out as well, even in his little infant form. That is amazing. And I just realized that I haven't got any more um, armor. And um, I probably won't be able to survive much too long in this zone, um, being um, a cold zone as well. So that's going to sort of um, sort of hinder my fun here. But let's see. Let's just suss out this little fox here. And he's got the little flame ball. That is so cool. <laughs> So I'm guessing the more that you sort of use him and feed him and things like that, the more that he's obviously going to grow. Um, well, there you go. He's already pretty much nearly on level two. Um, so in terms of hunger and things like that, you can see all the parameters up here on the top left-hand corner. You see the hunger is there is 934, um, health 100, energy 100. So it looks like he's okay for the meantime. Um, so the moment that we can just sort of continue hitting him, well, hitting our enemy over here, I'm going to sort of have to, okay, cool. Um, let's see if I can craft something up real quick, because I thought I would have had enough durability on that before that would have happened, but that's all good. I think I had some broken pieces of lumber over here. Very good. Let's grab that and that, and I'm just going to craft a spear. Okay, there we go, and let's swap this spear into our inventory and equip it, 
and we had some management just happen there, which is good. And I just want to grab a few things while I'm sort of, you know, mucking about. Really after four, you know, a decent quantity of snowballs as well. And the reason for that is I'm just trying to craft some um, uh, water as well. And yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at with that. Let's just quickly eat, drink. There we go. Okay. So back up to pretty much 100% here. Um, copper, look, I really want to grab some copper. I want to grab a few other things as well, just as I'm sort of going along with this one. And if I can grab a little bit of resources here and there, I'm actually surprised I'm not getting cold. So I don't know, have they changed that? Have the developers actually changed that recently? Because that really, I don't think that was mentioned, to be honest with you. Um, if they've made a change where you don't actually freeze right away, um, in, well, I, I guess they sort of stopped it when they were in the, when you're back in your home zone. So when you're back at camp, you don't actually freeze, but have they extended this out to all zones or just basic zones? I'm not too sure. Cause that's interesting. Um, but you do get much of a muchness when you sort of come into the zone anyway, because, um, all the loot drops and things like that, that I've noticed as well is all pretty much the same. So you do get pretty much generically. Oh, there we go. There you go. He's already freezing, so um, probably wasn't paying attention um, beforehand um, that I am sort of getting cold. Now, he is on level 2, which is amazing. Now, you can see his hunger's dropped just that little bit there, so that's not too bad. So, I guess um, he'll be able to survive um, a number of zones at the same time. So, I don't think you would have any sort of problem in getting any sort of mileage out of him before you sort of need to, um, here we go. So I think it's because I'm picking up certain things. Um, so let's go ahead and just eat some meat and let's just quickly warm up. I'm just going to monitor that for a second there. I'll purposely not grab any, um, snowballs, but I think it's already set in, yeah, it's already set in stone. You're already going to, um, freeze in here. So that doesn't matter. We'll just sort of try and nurse this as, as best as we can. I'll just sort of eat on the run kind of thing at the same time. Um, all right, so we've already got him after us. Let's just go and attack and attack and attack. And you can see he's still using his little um, uh, flame uh, little flame balls there, which is awesome. Um, let's go back to eating a little bit. And let's see if we can just loot up all that we can here. I want to try and grab some basic resources as well at the same time. So basically I'm just sort of trying to sort of do a little bit of hate balancing act here and um, as I'm sort of going through it. But what do you guys think so far about your little dragon there? Um, he's, he's kind of awesome. I, I like him. I actually haven't had a game or a survival game in general that actually has um, a pet early on or this early on in game, which is pretty cool. So... Oop. Let's just grab that. Um, yeah, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Um, have you got, I'm sure there's a lot of you guys that have been playing this game a lot more than what I have and have potentially gotten um, their dragon a lot earlier on and hopefully they have, you guys have already, um, sorry, have, um, you know, uh, made it grown up um, and you guys are getting a lot more usage out of your dragon as well. So let me know your experiences, how you guys are handling the dragon situation. Um, you know, any tips for me, any um, tips for everyone else that might be watching the video that would really help us out all collectively. Um, that'd be amazing if you guys can sort of give us, ooh, a nail. I don't think I've come across one of these before. So I will have to make a decision right now to get rid of something. What I could do is, let's go into a little dragon friend, uh, click on the food and add that to the um, inventory there. So I'll take that and let's just take all, there we go. How cool is that? All right. So what you could do with that there as well, if you've got an abundance of food or if you're trying to um, uh, get that last last piece of um, inventory or sorry loot there that you've got and you're 
you know, out of um, uh, inventory space, you can use things like the grubs there and feed your uh, your dragon if you've got him out on a run with you at the same time. So really, really good opportunity to do just that. And it sort of gives you a bit, uh, makes it a little bit more smarter in the way that you sort of utilize your um, uh, your storage management. So yeah, definitely good little tip. You've got the darkness zone, the forever night um, plane. I think we did go in there once. I think we did that very early um, playing the game, but I didn't have any um, uh, clothing or anything like that. So I didn't actually last too long in there. So I probably should do that again, but what I've noticed with a lot of these uh, zones or these um, uh, time sensitive zones in general is let's just get back to the fire here and start warming up fantastic um, basically they are sort of one and the same and you notice that there was the blizzard um, event as well there's two stages you've got the transit and they've got the blizzard the other blizzard I think it's called blizzard planes uh, whatever it is I would normally su suggest for a lot of people that doesn't matter what level you guys are on, unless if you've, um, you're basically uh, way overpowered, you've got a lot of weapons and a lot of clothing and you don't mind about burning um, through that and you want to get um, the next tier of uh, wood, which is the uh, uh, hemlock, I think it's called. Let's double check that because I've got some over here. It is called, yeah, uh, hemlock. Uh, then that's where the um, the second level of the, the blizzard zone makes a lot of sense because you would have hopefully by then iron tools so to be perfectly honest with you if you guys are not at uh where are we iron axe level 21 or greater it's probably not in your best interest to go down that way because you haven't got access to get uh the hemlock tree therefore there's really no sense going in there because there are some normal pine trees and things like that but you're not going to get the most out of the zone so you're best off staying in the basic zone farming that because you're going to get at least up to about 120 pieces of wood a whole lot of meat for things like that and there's a bit of a loot um, section there that you guys can loot um, yourself and you guys will be able to have a little bit more uh, uh, items when you come back to zone but also most importantly crafting up a whole lot of things like food and whatnot what i particularly want um, do is all the the zones that i've seen in that sort of space there i make make it a point to grab all the wood turn it into charcoal and then i start crafting up items and you'll find that you've got a lot more burn time and you guys will be able to utilize um that a lot more effectively that is the biggest recommendation i can suggest for you guys to uh utilize is making use of those time sensitive events where there's only very very few um enemies all that you need is just a warm set of clothing. If you guys have got it, that'll be recommended because you won't be able to do much about it if you don't have it. Otherwise, you're going to be burning through a lot of food and things like that to keep yourself warm. And so long as you've got a spear, so long as it's a spear, bake it in the um, the campfire just to get a little bit extra out of it in terms of strength, durability, and all that sort of good stuff. Then go through it. And then um, I think by level nine, you get the auto mode, which I've got over here. Um, and then that will allow you to um, uh, just sit the, your phone on the table or device that you have on the table and let him go about his business and um, clean up the zone. And then that's pretty much it. That's the best way that I can recommend that you guys make use out of that zone to get ahead in this game. Anyway, um, I have noticed our little dragon has actually uh, grown up a little bit. So he is on level three in a bit. You can see here that he's nearly halfway on his food. So you can pretty much go ahead and feed him up. Now, these grubs are only going to do a certain amount. So there's only so much that you can do with that. What we'll do here is... Actually, I want to do a bit of an experiment. Um, so let me see if I can do... No, I can't. Okay, let's um, grab... Well, let's place a few things, I should say, rather back into here just so i can get some of these things off my inventory actually you better served in here and uh, here we go uh, let's get rid of a few things in here there we go all right perfect all right so what i want to do is i want to see the difference in health regen for um the dragon Okay, so let's go ahead, 
check it out. So let's hit the feed button. Let's split that and let's split that because I've got one of each. I've got frozen, raw, then cooked. So let's see how this works. Frozen first. Now we're at 581 right now. Let's feed. Goes up by five. Let's go to the normal meat. Is 586 or 580? Whoa, okay, 595 jumps up to 15. That's huge. So 595 or 589, 614. So he nearly went up 20, I think he would have went up 20 points right there with cooked food. So grubs give one HP. Frozen food gives five. Raw meat gives 10, I think it was, or 15, something like that. And cooked gives you 20. So that's huge. Um, that's absolutely huge. Can we so go back home? So he's just going to chill there. So we're not going to use him for a little bit. I don't know whether or not he um, um, will he increase in terms of food or anything like that, or if he just sits there. So let me, let's probably leave it here for a second and see if it actually decreases or anything like that. It doesn't appear that it is. So what you probably want to do is feed him while he's stationary. Yeah, you probably want to feed him while he's stationary like this. Because right now he's not losing anything. And at this stage, if you had him on the run with you, you saw firsthand just then that his food was actually, oh, sorry, his hunger was reducing. So yeah, a couple of little tips there. So you're probably best off wanting to cook up a whole lot of meat and utilize that as his health regeneration in obviously conjunction with yourself um, for your player there. So like I said, you're probably best off utilizing some of these zones. If we quickly dump, uh, jump out real quick there, I'll quickly show you what I was sort of thinking or what I was sort of alluding to here, where I don't know if the dark zone would be um, applicable in this, the forever night plane. That is a three skull. That's a three skull. Yeah, so I probably wouldn't be able to do that anyway, even if I wanted to. But you can, you do get basic ones that pop up. This is a two skull. Um, I guess this is probably at this point in time, no one's actually gone through this. So I'll probably go through this real quickly. Um, the Grove is a one skull. The Pine Woods is a two skull. And then if you go, say, into Hermlock Woods, that's a three skull. And you notice the, the little skull um, icons there where the horns and then you've got the crown and then you've got the little baby horns here that sort of indicate what type of zone that you're going to get yourself into. So I thought I'll just quickly show you there. But the Blizzard la uh, land is a level two. That carries things like Hermlock. You do get these um, meats and um, hide and you do find loot around the zone as well but you need to be a high level if you want to... Um, make it viable for you guys and things if you want to make full use out of it you're going to need like iron tools and all that sort of stuff to break down the hermlock trees the uh, blizzard transit is your basic zone that's the zone that you guys want to attack that's the zone that you want to get the most meat wood and loot up the um, area as well as much as you can if you do that continuously you're going to get a generous amount of inventory in the in uh, in that variation there and that way you guys will have a sustainable um, income of food and um, survival at the end of the day and this will help you as well with your dragon progression as well at the same time so a few little tidbits there for you guys to sort of um, ponder on let me know how you guys are surviving how you guys are doing it um, and going about your business when playing the game um, I'd be interested to know what you guys are up to and how you guys are actually doing it yourselves um, I'm going to get out of here, so I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out the video as always. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell, and share the video. A few of the best possible ways to make the video grow and for a lot of other people to see the video as well. So another reason why I am letting you guys know about that. Anyway, I'm out of here. Take it easy. Catch you next time.